irradiation to kill bacteria in food. So he gave demonstrations to show how it worked, but they never seemed to turn out right. And now, I'll subject this meat to high energy electromagnetic waves, and it will make it more safe to eat. <clears throat> there, now the x-rays have completely penetrated the meat. It is not radioactive and completely edible. Anyone want a free sample? Oh, I'm going to get cancer. I'm going to glow in the dark. I feel weak already. No, 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 no. You don't have to stand it. Everybody, calm down. Calm no, down. No, no, you no need to panic. As you can see, this scientist isn't very good at explaining his ideas. I think he needs some help. Fortunately, the Snowmobots team have a great solution to his problem. The food they studied is ground beef. And the problem is that even though irradiation is a great way to kill bacteria, people have an irrational fear of irradiated food. Their solution? Educate people and tell them that irradiation is safe and kills bacteria. Let us handle this. Where do you get your ground beef? A grocery store. Duh. But the question is, where does it really come from? We trace the trip ground beef takes from the farm to your table. Along the way, there are many places where bacteria can and do sometimes get in the beef, but it mostly happens at the processing and packaging plant. Right after the meat is packaged is a great time to kill all the bacteria. Over the last 10 years, methods people have used haven't eliminated the foodborne illnesses as much as we'd like. Obviously, we need something to reduce these levels significantly. But what is the answer? Radiation is the answer! The radiation scary! Uh, it's not scary. First of all, um, none of the radioactive material touches the food. What happens is the x-rays, um, no, what happens is the x-rays go right through the meat and this does not make it radioactive. Um, and the meat, uh, and the meat is not, uh, mm, meat. Second. <laughs> and just, this is, just second, people have been using radiation for a while on medical and baby supplies, and a lot of organizations support it, including USDA, CDC, and NASA. Third, decades of research shows that radiation does not significantly affect the taste or nutrition levels in food. Finally, irradiation is the answer because it is effective, killing 10,000 times more bacteria than traditional methods. For example, if we irradiated only the ground beef and poultry, over 12 million foodborne illness cases a year would disappear. That's a fourth of all foodborne illnesses, gone. We have a great solution to kill germs and ground beef, but we're not using it. We need people like you. People will buy irradiated beef. Er, actually, irradiation sounds great. I'll buy irradiated beef. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Me three. Many more people would accept irradiation if they knew it killed bacteria. So the snowmobots have met and will meet with different organizations, such as Boy Scout troops, 4-H clubs, individuals, and experts, to tell them the benefits of irradiation. Is your beef irradiated? No, it isn't. That's why it can make you sick.